we have to start, guys, with the game of the night. You know where that was, Richard? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Let's take a look because Ja Morant and the Grizzlies, they were in Brooklyn visiting Kevin Durant and the Nets. We even had, oh, look, fixing the hair, getting all ready. We had some special guests courtside, Antonio Brown checking out the action. He's but not well. Let's get to the game. <laughs> so it started out all right for Brooklyn. Yeah, Kevin Durant doing what oh. Kevin Durant does, just being up in transition, then James Harden. He's coming into form a little he bit. He is slowly starting to get into shape, but look, everything starts on the defensive end with the big fella. Look at KD with the block again. Absolutely, but then it was all Memphis all night long, and it takes some cojones to hit Matt, that if shot. He starts knocking down that shot how nothing much you can do there's nothing you can nothing do nothing you can do because he's got all of this left right in and out he might be Look right up that. there with Kyrie as far as versatility with both hands and he's young too yeah. that means that there's a room for that growth yeah. well you know Kendrick Perkins was tooting the horn for him for MVP this morning Ooh. especially when he's doing that I need to see that again let's calm down with the MVP talk but God how long was he in the air? He had more floor? room, too. That's a good My poster. My goodness. Yes. More jaw all night in oh, Barclays yeah. Center. Yeah, he's he, he's work, he's working that pick and roll, kind of like how Chris Paul does, gets to his spots, but he's got that athleticism. He'll to dunk on you once he gets He'll dunk on you. That's the difference. The Nets made a little bit of a run, but the Grizzlies win. Here are the Grizzlies after the game. Jaw, he's a crazy talent. You see him blossoming in front of our eyes. And when he's playing like that, the urgency that everyone else is playing with, he's a driving force for us. Durant pushes, gets by Durant to the rim. Chance with the right hand. Oh, get out of the way. Since college, he's been on this trajectory, you know. As a basketball fan, you can't wait to see what his life year is going forward. People are debating whether or not he should be an all-star. I mean, I think we should be debating whether or not he's the best point guard in the league. You know, I'm a very humble guy, but I'm also confident. I'm going to let my teammates and them continue to talk for me. Um, I'm going to just go out there and you know, do what I can on the floor to help prove their case you know, <laughs> right even more. All right, so we just heard Jaws teammate Desmond Bain call him the best point guard in the league. So, Matt, where does he rank for you? I'm not mad at that. He's, a, he's in that next wave of point guards. Mm. I think right now we still have Steph, Dame, Kyrie, CP. I think he's in that next wave with Luka, Trey, LaMelo Ball. But I would put him right at the top of that next wave. So, he looks at all these older guys as, as lunch every yeah. night. And they know they're going to have a long night when they got to face someone like John Morant. But he's next in line with these guys. But, I mean, incredible talent. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and he has absolutely no fear. The, the tough thing about positionless basketball is now it's like, who the hell is the point guard? Right? If you're talking about a traditional point guard, yeah, yeah, Ja is right there. But you got to include Steph. You got to include guys like Luka that has a ball. Even James Harden, who has been right. playing point guard the last couple of years, we forget he was an MVP candidate last year towards the end before he got hurt. So is he in that next year? 100%. Could he be the best point guard by the end of the season or in the next year or so? I could see that without a doubt. And I, I feel MVP's coming in his future. Oh, yeah, definitely. MVP's coming in his future. Is yeah. All-Star coming now, Matt It Bones? should. It should. But sometimes, you know, he has still has respect to the players because it could just be a numbers thing, you know, with the All-Star. It's, it's tricky how guys get on. He's played his way into a, his first All-Star appearance. But if he doesn't, he has that respect around the league. They know he's one of the best in the game. And, and there's no disrespect to guys like Damian Lillard, but Ja has had a better season Agreed. than Dame has. But there's a high probability that Dame will get voted in yeah. over him. You so put a little roll on it. Ja, you put a, ja. you put a little roll on that. All right. French? You see that his French? game? You see is, his is game? French? Man, I was down. But listen, I'm we don't need to talk I'm about not, my I'm vacation, sure. man. Yeah. Well, no, we do not <laughs> need to talk about that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.